Hello everyone, Green Thumb Larry here with a quick video regarding the essentials for your outdoor garden water supply. And oftentimes people wonder if it's okay to water straight from their spigot to their garden or sometimes they don't even ask that themselves that question. And what's important to know that is if you're on city water or if you're doing, uh, if you're on well water, regardless, if you're, unless your water is pre-treated and tested by yourself, you really don't know what's there unless you get an analysis on it. So to be safe, what you want to do is have a water filter and a water filter that removes chlorine and chloramine. And that's what this is here. But here's a quick clip. I'll explain what we have here and I'll explain what's connected from the spigot and what goes straight to your plants. So you'll want a Y adapter. This is zinc, doesn't contain lead. So when you choose a, a Y adapter or any of your garden supplies, uh, you may want to consider whether or not lead is in any of it. Uh, you'll often sometimes see lead in brass fittings because lead is used to harden brass. Um, but the laws require there to be a very small percentage of lead use. I just stay away from brass because it contains lead. So a Y so that you can have one going to your garden and one going to your uh, regular water activities such as uh, washing your car for instance. Then I have a timer. This timer allows me to control how long the irrigation drip system runs and how often it runs and even gives you the option of if uh, it rains to simply delay any watering for anywhere from one to three days. This is a backflow valve, prevents the pressure from the line to push back into the system. This is a pressure regulator. This regulates the pressure going to the system. And here's a filter. It's a mesh filter. It's good to uh, basically get any large particulates out before entering the carbon filter. So I'll go ahead and assemble this and let you see what it looks like. Okay guys, there you have it. To recap, a Y, a timer, backflow, pressure regulator, filter, and then water filtration. And that's it. I guarantee success here with this method. Again, this is so that you do not have to manually water your garden. It will water on a timer system and also it will remove the detrimental chemicals that the city puts in your water in order to keep you safe, but it is not intended to keep the root zone of your garden healthy with, and has no intent to, um, to basically protect your roots. So again, if you're curious on this, there's other videos. If you want to subscribe to the channel, there's more information, uh, but to just sum it up in this video, this filter will remove the chlorine and chloramine in your water, which essentially kills the beneficial bacteria in your garden and your root zone. So that's what a carbon filter will do. And be sure when you research that you get a carbon filter that um, does in fact remove chlorine and, and chloramine. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for uh, more information. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, happy gardening.